Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I am at the spectacular Rossbridge Golf Course in Hoover, Alabama. This is the longest par 72 course in the United States and the fifth longest in the world. So I have my work cut out for me today. Um, once again, I will be doing an on-course commentary. You guys seem to like those style of videos, so I'm gonna keep doing more until you guys tell me you don't like them anymore. So let's get started with the video. That first hole here at Ross Bridge, par five, uh, 624 yards. Can we take a driver kind of just inside that right bunker and try and hit a slight cut over it? Here we go. I have to hit a good tee shot here. Bears back there. Got 323 yards left to this pin. Gonna be ripping a three wood at that bunker. Just trying to get something in a good position to get up and down from birdie. Well short. Not a bad shot there. It's a little short of the green. Ball did pluck. I mean, you can see. Of course, it's pretty wet right now, so I'll take my relief. I have 76 yards to that flag. Try to get it up and down for birdie. Okay, so not a terrible shot there. Um, didn't quite know that pin was that close to the edge, so probably better that I missed one in the middle. But probably got about a 30 footer for birdie. Let's see if we can roll it in. <laughs> All right, so not a bad par there to start. Um, it really is a tough opening hole, especially from the back tees, trying to fit your drive around those trees. But anyway, onto the second hole. Par four, 467 yards. Dog leg left, gonna be trying to hit a driver, just kind of start it right of the 150 mark with a little draw. Try to keep it out of those bunkers and let's try to get ourselves in a good position. Uh, so not a bad drive, um, didn't get any roll out, but I have 167 into the flag, looks like it's right in the middle of the green, I'm hitting a 9 iron, just kind of just try the flag and trying to work it back into that flag.
Uh, so that kind of sucked. Um, it's not used to the greens. No excuse though. Um, now onto the third hole though. It's, uh, par four, just under 470. Really cool looking hole, got water on the left. And we try to take it at that hill. A little draw to end up just short of that fairway bunker. Right, so not a bad tee shot there. I'm just not getting any run. That's the 200 yard plate right there. So I got 191 to the pin. Kind of on the, it's middle right, so kind of taking it just right at this pin, try to drop back in. Should I get something on the green here? And then into the sun. So yeah, I did not hit a good shot there and left myself in a terrible spot. Um, I'm just trying to put this ball somewhere on the green and try to get it with two putts. So once again, not the greatest hole. Um, you know, it's not a bad play after the second shot ended up right. So I mean, guess not a terrible five, but still not what we want. But now onto the fourth hole. Um, yeah, 222 yards to a back left pin location. Not a chance I'm going at that pin. I'm gonna take it a four iron, just at the start of the screen, try to make sure I'm, if anything, gonna be a little long. That's definitely the miss instead of short. So, see if we can hit a good shot here and try to get one on the green. There we go. Okay, Anywhere on the green here is I'm getting out of I'll be good. I'll be good. Oh, what a shot. Best shot of the day so far. Okay, so really nice shot there. Uh, exactly where I wanted to be. You can see that was that's one side of the green. That's the other, and then big amphitheater half pipe behind it. So miss is definitely long, but we're on the green, so we're pointing up birdie. Probably got about 25, 30 feet. See if we can roll one in. Alright, so pretty good three there. Um, I mean, that's a tough part three, but I I'm happy with the par there. Alright, now on to the fifth hole. Playing slightly out for the tips, 450. Um, bunk is out there, shouldn't really be in play. Not getting much roll out today, so we try to take it right at that right bunker and try to put something in the fairway. Where'd it go? 
that's a pretty good drive there. Um, I don't know if I got a little bit more run on this one, which is good. And I'll have 155 into this flag, a little uphill. Gonna be playing at about 165, hitting an eight iron, just right of this pin. The pin is just over this bunker, so anything past this pin shouldn't be too bad. Uh, not a bad shot there. Kind of where I was right out there. Um, put just a little past the pin, but you know it could be worse. Kind of misjudged the um, height on that, but still not a bad eight iron. Probably got about 45 feet for birdie. We're gonna try to roll one close and if I get here with two putts. Okay guys, that was a pretty good par there. Um, at least I'm trying to roll it better, which is good. If you guys saw my last video at Paco Ridge, I mean, I wasn't rolling it very well. Um, but yeah, so good par there. Let's move on to the sixth hole. 191 yards, playing slightly downhill. I'm gonna be playing it right about 190, it's a little bit of a headwind, so I'm hitting a full six iron. I just gotta say, look how hilly this course is. That's the last green right there. And that's the view of kind of just behind this hole where the next tee box is. I mean, this course is insane. I looked at pictures of this course and I'm thinking, okay, you're pretty flat. No, this course is probably one of the hilliest courses I've played in a while. Especially if we're not thinking it's gonna be super hilly. Also, it's very humid outside or out here right now. So that's killing the distance a little bit off the tee. But definitely a true test at 8,100 yards. Here we go. Try his six iron on that green and try to set myself up for par or for a birdie. Good. That's a pretty good shot there. You can see the tee box right up there. So ultimately, not that bad of a shot. Got a birdie putt, which is what we were looking for. So probably got about 25 feet here for birdie. Let's see if we can roll one in. Alright, quick explanation for that last hole. I leave the pin in for the camera so you guys can see it better. And that little two footer I had hit the center of the pin, bounced off, and missed. But I mean, I would think it would have gone in without the pin, so I am going to count it. I know some of you guys might not like that. Normally I would take the pin out, but um, I, I just don't for the videos. Anyway, moving on to the seventh hole. 619 yard part five down the hill, slight dog leg right. Green's kind of back behind the hill. Here we're taking the driver, just kind of set him the fairway and try to get something out there and play. Here we 
pretty good. All right, good drive here. Um, got a long way in, can't reach that green, so I'm just gonna try to hit a four iron between those two cart signs right there and try to get myself in a good position to where I can get up and down for birdie. It's a little right where I wanted it, but it's in the fairway. That pretty good shot with the four iron there. Uh, still didn't get any roll, but 127 yards into that back pin. Don't want to go long, so I'm going to play it about 125 uh, with a 50 degree wedge and let's try to put this one close. That hit a pretty nice shot there. I got probably 15 to 18 feet for birdie. And I just wanna show you guys what's long of this green. So if you go just over this back edge, I mean, you're sloping off into nothing. I mean, there's not much to hold up your ball here. So you can see down there, I mean, that's, there's not much to hold up your ball between that back pin and down there, especially with the green sloping off the back. So, gotta give credit to Kyle Berkshire there for telling me not to go long in this hole. Um, you guys should go check out his video, awesome video, does a lot better job than I do. But anyway, here's our putt for birdie, see if we can make it. Alright, so really good four there. Um, yeah, nice to finally roll a putt in. So hopefully we can keep that momentum going. Now onto the eighth hole, and this is a really cool hole. It's actually a replica of the 11th hole at Augusta National. Built almost the exact same specifications. Except obviously this fairway is a little bit wider than the ones at Augusta. But still really cool. So we're gonna try putting something just up that right hand side. Try to give ourselves a good angle to that back or that front right pin location. So here we go. Right, so push this one a little right of the fairway. Kind of got caught up in these trees. Um, do have an opening though, which is nice. Uh, 177 playing 161. Gonna be hitting probably either an eight or a nine. Try to keep it just right of that pin. Um, don't want to float with that water on the left. So see if we can put this one on the green and try to make back-to-back -back birdies. That's a hell of a shot. Uh, I gotta say, that was a really nice shot out of those trees. Um, guess the yard almost perfectly. But you know, that's something you gotta do when you put yourself in trouble. You gotta find a way to kind of get it down and limit the damage. And I was lucky enough to have a pretty big opening to hit through and guess the number correctly. So as you guys can see, we only got about 15 feet for birdie. See if we can roll one in.
that. So as you can see, black tees are to the left, all the other tees are to the right. So that's where we're going. All right, so that's a little unfortunate there, leaving that just about a roll short, but you know, walking off with a four, they're still pretty good. Um, I just wanna say, look at the view from this back tee box. I mean, this is insane. This course is huge. Our green is that right there. So I'm gonna be aiming at that hill right there with a little draw. I mean, this hole is 512 from the tips. So it's gonna take two really good shots to get there. And this pin's on the left edge of the green. So really just gonna take two good shots. I can be aggressive and play up the left, but don't feel that confident right now. So I'm gonna be hitting it up the right Try to get something out there and play. Uh, here we are, second shot. Uh, you cannot see the green, but it's kind of right over in that direction. Pins right below that waterfall. Got 234, so not really gonna be going after this one. Gonna be taking it kind of right of these, right of the green at those trees, and just try to get up and down for par. At third shot, got 30 yards. Ball did clip the hill back there, so it killed it a little bit, but it ended up in a terrible spot. Pinned just on the green, so we just try to flop the up there with a 58 degree and try to put it close. <laughs> 